Good day. In this video, we will talk about what's a difference between a latte and cappuccino. Many of my subscribers still confused between these two kind of drinks. What's the difference? They look almost the same, but they're not, and they taste different. For the sake of simplification, latte is milkier coffee milk drink, and cappuccino is stronger coffee milk drink. Okay, did it make any sense? So the key difference between these two kind of drink is the strength. Okay, the strength, the combination. So to differentiate this, we will use coffee and milk ratio. Okay, for latte, we will use one to five milk ratio. And for cappuccino, we will use one to three coffee to milk ratio. Okay, so because we standardize our coffee, our espresso, one espresso is one oz, 30 milliliter, so for latte, we will use 150 milliliter milk, all right? And for cappuccino, because 30 times three is 90, because this recipe is not set in stone, we will use 100 milliliter milk. For the sake of easiness, it's easier to steam 100 ml. And the second key difference is the texture. We want our latte have a silky smooth frothed milk. But in cappuccino, we want our milk is more frothier. So the steaming process and the steaming techniques is kind of different. But bear in mind, this is not set in stone. All right, we will stretch our milk for latte from 150 milliliter to 200 milliliter. We will have a good texture and silky smooth milk. But we want to double our milk volume in cappuccino, okay? We want to double it so we have this more frothier milk. 100 milliliter to 200 milliliter. Now, I will demonstrate how to steam for latte and cappuccino. So for latte, we will use 150 milliliter of cold milk, okay? Always use cold milk. And when the steam reaches its steaming temperature, we flush it first. And ready to steam. Now we steam our milk from the bottom of the spot and we will stretch it around 200 milliliter between here. Okay, and roll the milk. All right, place it and steam. Find the chirp. Okay, stretch to 200 milliliter. Stretch, find the chirp. It's okay if the bubble form. We will break the bubble when we roll the milk, all right? If we think it's enough to stretch, we roll the milk until the 65 degrees Celsius temperature. Okay, so we will have this silky smooth milk. Clean this thing one and purge. Now we will prepare our espresso. We will groom the milk, tap. See the milk texture, silky smooth and glossy. All right, tap, tap, groom, and make latte art. Okay, this is latte. And now we will make cappuccino. One. 100 milliliter of milk. So it's very little. So we have to use 100 milliliter milk, okay? It is a bit harder to steam cappuccino in this machine because the steam one is short, okay? So we will use 100 milliliter instead of 90 milliliter of milk. Okay, as usual, perch. And we will double our milk volume. Stretch until double and roll, all right? Stretch first. Stretch, find the chirp. Get slowly moving your milk jug down until the volume is doubling. All right, we don't want to make any large bubble here. Very, very gently, okay? Okay, when we double our milk, we roll until it's silky smooth, okay? 
and reach the temperature, we stop. Now we integrate the bubble to the milk. We want this kind of texture. See, it's kind of viscous for cappuccino. And we will make a monk's head, okay? Integrate the milk first. And slowly lower the milk jug to make monk's head, okay? Slowly lower. Okay, there you go, cappuccino. So as you see here, between cappuccino and latte have a very distinct texture. We want our cappuccino more smooth, more frothier milk, like right here. And we want our milk silky smooth for latte. So we could make latte art, like right here. See? Stronger milk coffee, milkier milk coffee. Cappuccino, latte. There you go. That's the key difference between latte and cappuccino. If you have any question, drop your comment below. And I hope you like my videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe for YouTube algorithm. Enjoy your coffee today and have fun.